trade relationship with Canada as seriously and as hopefully as I do. Uh, there at that meeting, as Clayton said, I was a little surprised. There was a, quite a demonstration, although it was only a few hundred people opposed to free trade out on the, the lawn. And uh, I was wondering about this. And then when I addressed the parliament and the galleries were full of really a packed house and came to our approval of the free trade then I found out what the true balance didn't work for anything in history. And, uh, but I was greatly encouraged that they really have that sentiment for us. So uh, I feel the same way. Prime Minister and I agreed that a free trade agreement would be a major opportunity to expand trade and uh, provide benefits for both American and Canadian consumers and businesses. And the Canadians are concerned that while this negotiation is there, most important economic issues, some in our country, they feel, aren't paying enough attention to it. But it's been a top priority for this administration for some time. And since Canada is our largest trading partner, the U.S.-Canada trade relationship is the biggest in the world. More than a quarter of all of our manufactured goods that are sold abroad are sold to Canada. And they purchase more U.S. exports than the European community or our next 10 largest trading partners put together. <clears throat> the Canadian-American Free Trade Agreement, I think, will mean higher levels of efficiency, productivity, and economic growth. It will make both Canada and the U.S. stronger and more competitive in trade relations with the rest of the world. And since such a free trade agreement will also serve as a model for the world and a demonstration of the benefits of cooperation to reduce trade restrictions and barriers, I think it will provide an alternative to policies of protectionism, which sap the economic lifeblood of the nations. I'm being rather offensive lately and calling on my age to remind everybody that I'm the only one around, really old enough to remember what the Smooth Valley Terror did. But uh, <coughs> the negotiations to remove the remaining impediments are difficult and they're complex. There are special problems and sensitivities on both sides that must be taken into account. But my conversations with Mulroney have me convinced that the will and determination are present on both sides. And I think we can uh, arrive at a mutually beneficial agreement. I need your help carrying this simple but extremely important message to the people, and I hope that I can count on all of you. We need to show our Canadian friends that our business community is interested in helping us achieve this goal of a free trade area with Canada. As the negotiations intensify this spring and summer, we'll be relying on you for your advice. And we are all very busy, and I truly appreciate the time you are taking to serve the country in this important way. We're a shining example for the rest of the world. Now we wish the private sector in our country enters in and makes things happen without throwing everything over to bureaucracy. I 
Thank you. submarines off the coast, Mr. President. <laughs> Couldn't they ruin our day, too? Uh, what's going on there? You're asking a civilian? <laughs> Aren't you going to get some pretty good advice here? Are you concerned? Or is that a provocation on the part of the Soviet Union, sir? I'm waiting until we have a meeting here. Are you concerned about it, Mr. President? Huh? Are you concerned about your presence? I'm always concerned about that. Mr. President, the Joint Chiefs didn't think you should go into Beirut, and they're a little concerned about Reykjavik. Are you here to make peace? <laughs> They've all been very friendly. <laughs> Slide, please. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thanks. Quick try. Got to save the game. <laughs> Executive officer of the company, not quite all, but most all. It was very uh, 
outstanding group that gives the yeoman service to us on great issues of all kinds and gives us a lot of free time forever. Especially at Pratt right next door. Let's leave the room on. Make a sacrilegious remark. Whenever they come in, the room being the way it is, I always think it's like those famous words of the Last Supper. Anyone who wants to get in the picture, get on this side of the table. This will be a little more. One more. This will be one more. <laughs> Well, Clayton and Ed, I want to welcome you and all the members of my advisory committee on trade negotiations to the White House today. And uh, I know, as you've been told, that I was in Canada Sunday and Monday, and I'm glad to have this opportunity to maybe give you a personal word, although I understand you've had a report uh, on our trip there. You can tell by the reception uh, that we got in the Canadian Parliament that a free trade agreement between Canada and the United States is an idea whose time has come. They were most enthusiastic about it. And I pledged to Prime Minister Mulroney and the people of Canada that we're going all out to make this visionary proposal a reality, not just for the prosperity and jobs it would create in both our countries, but as an example to all the world that free and fair trade is the way to go, not protectionism. I believe in an America that can meet the challenge of the 21st century. And this means better educating our young people, better training our workers, protecting our intellectual property, reforming our antitrust laws and trade laws when necessary, and pursuing multilateral trade negotiations. And yes, taking tough actions to open foreign markets that are closed to American exports. We have a comprehensive plan to deal with these issues and we believe we can achieve it. In fact, much has already been done, as Clayton knows, and has been seeing that it gets done. And you've proved to be invaluable advisors to Clayton and to me on the development and execution of our trade policy. Yeah, now you can get the lights on. Mr. President, are you considering rescinding your trade uh, tariff restrictions against the Japanese? Are you impressed by what they've done? You call for free trade. Uh, we haven't had an opportunity yet to uh, get together on that, but we're going to we're going to be treating with that problem. And I'm looking forward to a visit by the prime minister. Are you convinced you're heading for a showdown with him when he's here? Well, <laughs> uh, he has been most cooperative with us, uh, and uh, I think he still has that same feeling about finding agreements that are fair to both sides. So you'd like to avoid those tariffs if possible? Right. Well, they go into effect oh, April 17th. Are they going to go into effect, these new uh, restrictions? That's, uh, that's the way it sets now until unless some decision is made on their part. Thank you. But listen, so, I can't go on answering questions. Thank you. 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 Thank you.